The rank correlation coefficient introduced by Spearman has limitations in that it does not consider the original data, it just considers positions. A more precise measure of correlation is Pearson's correlation coefficient, which is normally given by the symbol R. This has a rather nasty uh, formula, which I'll write out here. R equals N times the sum of each product XY. Take away the sum of X times the sum of Y divided by the square root of N times the sum of X squared minus the sum of X squared and then the same for Y. So it's not a nice formula but it will always be given to you in an exam. You don't need to learn it. And what it consists of is adding up various columns of figures. So the sum of x, for example, we would get here by adding up the x's and they come to 20 and the sum of the y's comes to 400. So in here, this bit will be 20 and this bit will be 400. We need to work out the other totals though and so the best way to do this is to create new columns here. We need an x squared column, a y squared column and an xy column. So for x squared, if x is 2, 2 squared is 4, x is 5, 5 squared is 25, 4 squared is 16, 6 squared 36, 3 squared is 9. If I add those up, I get 90. Similarly for y squared, 3600, 60 squared, 100 squared is 10,000, 70 squared is 4,900, 90 squared is 8,100 and 80 squared is 6,400 and if we add those up we get 33,000. This is very easy to do on a spreadsheet. If you put your data in the first two columns A and B you can work, you can put a formula in for each of these and just click and drag and it will do it very quickly. And then we need to do x times y 2 times 60 is 120, 5 times 100 is 500, 4 times 70 is 280, 6 times 90 is 540, 3 times 80 is 240, and the total of all of those is 1680. So those are the calculations that we need to do to get the totals. We then put it all in this formula where n is the number of items. Here we've got five different items. So we get 5 sigma xy is 1680. Take away sigma x times sigma y 20 times 40. Underneath we have 5 times sigma x squared, 5 times 90, take away sigma x, which is 20, squared, and then the same for y, 5 times sigma y squared, which is 33,000, take away sigma y, 400 squared. And if we work all of that out, it ends up at exactly 0.8. That's Spearman's, sorry, Pearson's correlation coefficient, 0.8. And as we've seen before, a correlation coefficient of plus 1 means perfect positive correlation. Minus 1 is perfect negative correlation. This is very close to plus 1, so this indicates that this data has good positive correlation and we can see on a scatter diagram 
that there is good evidence of a positive increase. As, as x goes up, so does y. They are positively correlated, and that's indicated by this number being near to plus 1. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself. But what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.